Hello, and welcome to this podcast on recipe and formulation management technologies for the food, beverage, and life sciences industries. I'm David Greenfield, Director of Content at Automation World, and joining me today is Tom Troy, Director of the Operations and Execution Portfolio for Operations and Asset Management at Schneider Electric. Now in this podcast, we'll look at how consumer demand, coupled with new regulatory requirements and constant changes in where products are manufactured, have led to an incredible growth of new SKUs and permutations of products. And this has impacted everything from the creation of new recipes and formulas to more complex packaging processes. So Tom, let's begin by looking at the regulations and market demands that have been altering the food and beverage and pharmaceutical industries. How is this interplay of regulations and customer demands impacting automation technology applications most? Simply stated, the confluence of regulations, which are customer and government driven, and market demands in food and beverage and pharmaceuticals is driving us to deliver commercial products that provide strict process governance to enforce control while enabling production agility and consistency. To deliver on this need, our commercial products need to be highly collaborative, coordinating people and or applications into effective governed processes. Now, when it comes to recipe or formulation management in these industries, what issues have you seen as being most prevalent for end users? With respect to recipe and formulation management, The most significant issue we've seen is a lack of governance around how recipes and formulas are created, updated, and executed on the production floor. End users are using many methods to manage recipes and formulas, such as paper, spreadsheets, custom applications, and in some cases, even commercial software. We've seen many scenarios where end users are even using one or more methods within the same facility. For some more advanced users, some elements of their recipes and formulas are managed in PLM solutions, that's product lifecycle management solutions. So these recipes and formulas need to be transformed into plant-specific control recipes. At the end of the day, this lack of governance puts a manufacturing organization at risk. Finished product could be mislabeled, product may need to be scrapped because key manufacturing parameters were not set properly, no history of what parameters were used to manufacturing a product, et cetera. Now, along with all the recipe and formulation changes that have occurred recently, there's also been an upsurge in packaging advancements. Do these packaging trends have much of an impact on recipe and formulation management? And if so, how are those two aspects managed concurrently? With the upsurge in packaging advancement, it definitely has pushed us to support more advanced formula management with our commercial offering. It's not just about downloading a bunch of packaging line parameters and hitting the start button anymore. Uh, We need to layer on event-driven sequencing of formula parameters, as well as sequencing of formulas on a single packaging line. We needed to enable our end users to model these event-driven sequences in support of producing a finished product. The other challenge for us was to provide a recipe formula management solution that spans both batch and discrete processes. Now, how have you been adapting your technologies to these industry changes, and how do you stay on top of the trends? What has come apparent to us in the recipe formula management solution space is that there was a significant gap between low-end HMI recipe management, which we delivered through our in-touch recipe management offering, and high fidelity batch management, which we delivered through our in-batch offering. Typically, this gap is being addressed by custom solutions. We decided to close that gap and bring a new commercial application to the market called Recipe Manager Plus. Our goal with Recipe Manager Plus is to cover the recipe management, formula management space that ranges from the low-end HMI recipe management application right up to the high fidelity batch management application. Furthermore, for our customers who are deploying an MES solution within their facility, our recipe manager application becomes a seamless extension of our MES recipe management capabilities. 
Now, Tom, considering all you've seen at customer sites over the years, what are the most common signs of the production operation needs a more effective recipe management process? One common sign that illustrates the need for a more effective recipe management process is a lack of agility to address new product introductions. As manufacturers are attempting to address ever-changing consumer needs with new products, they can't ramp their production fast enough, which results in market opportunity lost. The other common sign is uh, production variability. Some manufacturers will see significant variability in their production processes because they have a lack of governance around how their recipes and formulations are managed and executed on the production floor. In some cases, plant floor operators have too much autonomy, which results in unpredictable production output. They have no history of key process set points and production activities. Well, thank you, Tom, and thank you for joining us for this podcast. If you'd like more information, please visit the website shown here.